and welcome back to another video. So today's video, I'm going to share with you some sales I made on eBay from the 2nd of January 2022 to the 7th of January 2022. And I'm, I have 243 items active and 138 sold. So I'm hoping to get um, over um, 250 items active. I'm hopefully going to do that tomorrow. But if, but if I go below, uh, under 250 because I've been selling stuff. You know, I sell some stuff. I want mine. I definitely want mine that. But I do want to at least get over 250. And if I sell some stuff to get under 250, that's fine with me. I will not mind that at all. Obviously. Um, but yeah, I was pretty close to 250, but then, or came close to like 240, and then I selling some stuff. And then I got above 240. So yeah, but anyways, I did not make sales the second, but this is uh, head on the third. And this is Namco Museum, and until Game Boy Advance, 201, GBA cart only. This sold for $5.89, free shipping. I picked this up from my local art shows, and that's really the only place I source it. I, use, I source it in the summertime, if I see like garage sale signs. Around. I usually could source from garage sales, <coughs> or there's like usually a fa Facebook page from garage sales on my phone, or if I see garage sales like on um the garage sale signs, I usually go to them garage sales or um Facebook the Facebook group garage sales on my phone. Otherwise, I do all source from garage sales, but not really, because my local thrift stores kind of some of the stuff they price kind of high. They used to price pretty high. And then now, now they've been going down a little bit in price because they know that, like, they don't want to be a storage unit and hold on to this stuff forever because the guy's like 200 different boxes or boxes or tubs or totes, either 200 totes or 200 com combination of 200 boxes and totes. And he doesn't want to be a storage unit. And I understand that, you know. I don't blame him, you know. So 5.99 in, free shipping in, and I make a couple bucks out. And I was already a profit on that, so going into that item. So I only have a, a few items from that. Um, I want to say uh, three items, three listings from there, three DS listings. So, so, so yeah, not a lot, you know. And I had like, I want to say nine listings. So. Nine down to three. That's not bad though. This is a field guide to the birds east of the Rockies by Roger Pearson. This is vintage book. I picked this up in my local art house in the some in in the middle of August. I picked up a book line in the last. I picked up a book line in the beginning end of August, beginning of September, and this and stuff for being a, maybe the first day of September. I picked up who knows. But anyways, this sold for four dollars plus shipping. I had it listed for four ninety nine, then some after me then sell for four twenty four and up fifteen percent. Then after some after me four. And I was gonna take this because I have listed for four months. But once I seen the four dollars, I was definitely gonna take it because jump on the bandwagon because this is a frown and you know, I'll gladly take a super reasonable offer on it, four dollars plus shipping. So make a couple bucks from it. This I picked up from Shopgoodwill.com. I picked up a lot of stuff. A shippable lot. Here I don't buy stuff online. I have it online sourcing, but I figured I test the online sourcing out. And it worked out well. The um, Fitbits and JV trackers wasn't the best foot but pickup. But I still did make a little profit in the um, other stuff they have from that lot. Well, it just put me over the top in the profit. Even though I might take a little out of that stuff, mate. But the CDs was a really good pickup. I'm like quadruple my money probably on that. So it was really good. I was like $35, 36 in on that, which was really awesome. This is over $8 plus shipping. And by it was twelve forty five dollars line. And it made about $6 profit because there's already a profit on these. And, I, and this was a little bit of a. 
where um, one of the seas, one of the cases was cracked, but all the other um, cases were in mint condition, and then the uh, either the case was in mint condition or lower, and the seas were in, like mint condition, flawless, except when I'm cracking it, on the case I'm cracking it. So 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 for eight push it in. After an eleven sixteen yeah, push it on ten percent sales on. But I'm like, you know what, there's not a lot of interest in this. I'm just gonna take it. In the condition it's in. List as acceptable because I was the crack in it. See in the case. So that is sold for eight plus shipping. And move on. This is a William used to come so or Tecumseh, Recoil, Sarah Sunday, Fine and Zero, Sunday Two. <clears throat> this sold for sixteen ninety nine plus shipping, or free shipping, excuse me. And I had this listed for about four more months. Um, four four and a half months, but finally sold the right buyer, and I put it on sale. She don't put blunt, like blunt reports. She needs reports like you know. I need my sponge and parts and sale, but I used this one I did because I knew it was popular. But there's only brand news, and I finally sold for a sweet spot. There's a ton of views. It's one of those listings where there's like a ton, ton, ton of views, but it just wasn't selling. You know, you should have found the sweet spot for him. I think I found the sweet spot, so finally did. So that was awesome. I had that for about four and a half months. This two box I had for about a month and a half. And this Bird book I had for about four months. The Amco Museum I've had for about four days. This did not pay for yet. And then I had baked breads from Frozen Dome Paper Cookbook by Sylvia. I can't. But I picked this up at my local auction house in a book lot. I had that for. I've had this for about four months. I had it for a few days over four months by time. I ended up selling for full price. This on sale. 10% sale for eight. Oh nine. Then I had on fifteen percent sale for seven sixty four plus shipping. And I had listed for two pound meal. I don't know why. When it was only when I only shipped out the one pound meal rate. Right? But I'll take it though. Um so for seven sixty four plus shipping. I made about six dollar profit on this book. I wanna say so. So it's not bad though. Too shabby. And then I picked this up from a state sale of got shows. A couple of days ago, this sold for seven. He sold for seventeen and nine push shipping. This is a lot of thirty eight cassette tapes, pre cord so as used blinks. Sold for seventeen and nine plus medium amount of shipping. So I picked them up, and yeah, so I'm glad I sold for for that price. And this for nineteen and nine push shipping. Then someone caught at sixteen. He said, well, I'll take a look at me in about 17 because I just listed them a couple of, like, recently, and they took it, so, 17 in, now, I was not fully in the profit on this after I sold these, but I didn't make, um, I was almost in the profit, I was like a dollar fifty. I want to say it was like a dollar seventy-five in, in, in the negative still, because I paid sixteen twenty-six for everything, I paid, because I bought C's, there's some, there's a buck. A lot of C's, DVDs, cassette tapes, like a few A track tapes and some VHS tapes, and then there's a big, big ton of VHS tapes and two shelves full of VHS tapes. There's a ton of boxes. They they didn't even I didn't even think they counted for in the photos. There's only like a few, like a few boxes they counted for in the photos. Like they had a ton, ton more, and I didn't realize they were like plump. Falls tapes, there's like a ton of tapes, a ton of blank tapes, but there's some that weren't blank. Um, but I just I saw a big lot, uh, there's a list of big lot 50, they have a big lot 25 on the list, they have a few individuals, so a lot of like four of the same series, and one individual VHS tape, it's a little more expensive tape. This is like Daily Express tape. And then, yeah, and then a bunch of blank tape listings. 20. So hopefully they sell. I know they will, but it's just not a matter if they sell, but when they'll sell. But th this is a Delco Sturge generator for a couple cadet mouse. And you listen to the title. These sold for 
29.99 for shipping. It lasted for about four days and anyway. I picked it up for in my big um for my small engine parts liquid air person for twenty nine for two bucks a listing. And this sold for twenty nine ninety nine for shipping. And I made about I wanna say I made about twenty five dollar profit. So it's not too shabby. You know, and I didn't do and I had a list one listed for forty nine ninety nine push shipping the first time. Then I did um untested and then somewhere for me thirty push shipping untested. And I like this one comes to a son for not working on as is condition. So I took it and I sold it for twenty nine and push as is condition. Finally it sold so it was fair price. So then I sold an assort Arsons John C L fifty B. So that same day I listed I listed with it sold within a few hours of me listing it for sixteen fish I listed for nineteen and then. I took 16 just because of the fact that these are hard to sell. You know, sort of arst and genres lot. Lots because of the fact that, you know, unless you're a reseller or you just want, like, you just want to cherry pick the CDs you let, you're like, this person could be an Amazon seller where, like, where they sell, like, the CDs on Amazon and make more money on them. Maybe you could if you sold all 50 of these individually on Amazon in as this condition. You don't know what condition they're in, and you um fulfill by Amazon. And yeah, you could make more. Um, you could make a decent profit on these. Maybe you still make profit on these, or keep the seeds you want, and give the rest like give the rest to people you know, or you know, flip them all, flip them on Amazon, you know, or a different site, you know, like Amazon. And do it fulfill by Amazon, flip them on there. Maybe you could, but it doesn't matter. You know, whatever, whatever, you know. It doesn't matter to me. You know. Um. I'll gladly, um. Take the sale. And move on. And I made about. I'll say I made about $10 profit. That's after my fees were calculated. And, and um. Again, my, like. No, that wasn't the profit yet on this. Stuff so I calculate all that in the profit. Each listing I saw I calculate all the profit that I would in the net if I got it for free. That goes into my item cost. To that them in the profit. And then all the rest of it is the last listing I saw. To get in the profit. It just says like my cost was this much. And all the rest of the stuff is acted like I got free. Because I did because I didn't pay anything any, any extra for it. But or I could base it per listing, but why would I do that, you know? Because I'm going to forget what the cost of the aim is. Anyways, the cost I paid for this stuff. Anyways, I'm just at paying about, say, like 30 listings. Or 40 listings, say. That's a, you know, and I don't pay, you know, just say, pay pay like 50 cent a listing or a quarter listing, you know. I might as well, I want to know I paid for the whole thing. Am I in the profit? I'm already in the profit of this stuff. I'm not going to think I'm in the profit either. I know I am, you know. Anyways, this is a vintage nineteen two old style beer stain. Seventeen me in Brazil. This I sold I took it off on last night. I had a list for nine ninety nine push shipping. Then I listed for eight ninety nine push shipping on ten percent sale. So I think I had a watch in this hand. I wanna believe, believe I did. I know I've been having watches on some steins lately. I've been some enlisting, but I haven't any sales on steins besides this one. This sold for seven eight nine push shipping. This is an old style stain. This was there's a lot of sword stains that were on it, like Budweiser's, like the good brand, like the bear brands, the more popular brands. These were the ones that are like old styles and like Coors and like ones that weren't as the best brands. But I did not pick these up because I knew these were cheaper and these would. I was already in the profit on these because I had sold a couple of them. I sold a couple of stains that put me in the profit on the lot. And then this one, you know, I'm already in the profit on, and I could have been greedy and said, hey, I'll take 849, but I'm not going to be greedy, just to, I've heard this for 42 months, I'm not going to be greedy, I'm just going to take the 10, I'm just going to take an extra dollar off my 10% sale price, just 20% of my total price, which is fine, no big deal. I'll finally take the offer, 
and let's get rid of it. This is something I picked up from the C from the estate sale. You should know do estate sales, but it was like 10 15 miles estate way estate sale. So I did it, anyways. And I fell out my back of my vehicle. So this I picked up for $17.99. Free shipping. This is a 2C CD set. Precious Memories Clutch, Alan Jetson. Brand new seal. This is brand new sealed in the shrink wrap. I don't know how I'm finding, how, you know, you buy a CD and never um, open it. But apparently people, some there's some CDs that people buy, but they never open. Apparently, and this was one of them. I picked this up, you know, on that big lot for $16.26. This, this I almost paid for it all. One little CD, $17.99 free shipping. And I want, and I made about twelve, thirteen dollar profit for fees and email shipping. That's really pretty solid profit, you know. You know, to make like twelve, thirteen dollars, and be in the profit. So, and then yeah, so that's pretty awesome, you know. For us to make about twelve, thirteen bucks on one little CD, it's really good. This was selling pretty well too, you know. I mean, yeah, I seen people on this list in like pretty high, but I'm like, I'm not gonna list it pretty high. I'm gonna list it like a sweet spot where I know I can sell, it. like, I know I can get a good price for it, and I can flip it pretty quickly too. I'm holding this for a ton while, and I didn't. This is for eighteen ninety nine pushman, but I counted them at seventeen ninety nine, and they offered me fifteen, and they took it. So I said, I know I can get more price. I think the lowest you can go is five percent on these count, five percent off on the offer. So I end up um, doing it. So it's awesome. And then I end up selling one one last day. See, yeah, like something. So I can't remember what time this was. This was Atari Grace Hits Volume Two, and it tells yes, two thousand eleven, cartridge only. This. So for fourteen ninety nine, plus for free shipping. Excuse me, fourteen ninety nine free shipping. And I made about ten dollar profit on this thing after fees and shipping. Pretty close to ten dollar profit. If I didn't make it ten a little over ten dollar profit, or you know. So yeah. And this I've had for about a week. So a week. So it's not very long. And the only stuff I have from that big game lot is clubhouse games that buyer paid for. Or I'm um, not paid for them. Bought, but they haven't paid for them yet. So I'm probably just going to end up being like a... It's probably just going to end up being like a relist. I'm thinking it's going to end up being like where I pay, the person wants, offers me something, but then doesn't pay for it. I think that's what it's going to be in. So I'll just relist, cancel and relist as soon as I can. And I have a sorted, um, um, yes, games out of four. Uh, for, and there. So, I'm gonna pick them up. And then, and yeah, and then what I have to list from, um, from the, um, what I just picked up from, um, the estate sale is a couple, some lots of, I have some lots of blank VHS tapes. I'm doing a lot of 20. I listed lot A, B, C, D, E, F, and I'm gonna list um, and I listed the cassette tapes, and then I listed the CDs already. And I sold and I listed the um, individual CDs, the few that I listed because there's one that was I had two of, so I just listed th that one, even though it wasn't worth much. And then I, cause I was kind of forced to, I didn't wanna sell two of the same CD, you know, the sort of lot. And I had a couple of seals, you know. You know, like I have a Santa Claus post office one, Christmas one, and I have a um, Tennessee um, an E4 or something like that. Um, like Tennessee Four or something like that. Grace hits, Grace songs or something like that. Clutch. And I have some DVD. Yeah, and then I'm gonna be listing is some DVDs. And then I listed a bulk lot of random VHS tapes that weren't on. Blanks for like twenty nine nine and pushman for about fifty. 
And then the blank plots, blank features, two plots, one dollar piece. Nineteen and a piece plus me measure one. Yeah. And then they see unless in some DVDs, that's a few DVDs. And that will list a few like the train tape slot. Brand new sealed for eleven and a pushman. Or ten and a pushman I love it up on. And then there's some trained other train tapes that are not brand new sealed. Um I list them for eleven ninety nine free shipping because there's a lot of five I was going for fourteen British chain rate for fourteen of every shipping used. So that's them for eleven eight one used. So a lot of four. And then I have some DVDs listed. There's um this IMAX Green Can you Venture River Rest for forty nine free shipping. And just you didn't send the class of coaching DVD. It's nineteen thirty six color like this one so it was about for like six ninety plus shipping. I think you brand new in like it's 49 plus shipping right now. So then, let's say for like, four, like 80 something plus shipping, I think. You do new others, I would say, let's say for 349 plus shipping. Not very good, except there's one little rip of the plastic on the back of this. You know, it's not a plastic rip. You know, when it's not, you know, or the, to cover up the um, paper. So, but I said, but it's still very good. So for 349. I have a free and push one. And then I'm going, hopefully, going to, um, I'm going to list some more CDs or more DVs tomorrow. And then I'm going to list some VHS tapes. Some, I have a lot of 25 that aren't blank. And I have like three lots of 18 or three lots of 20, three lots of 20 blank tapes. Lot G, lot H, lot I, and then I have lot J, which is going to have 18 tapes. <laughs> and I have lot 25. I'm going to sort of just tapes that aren't blank. I have a few DVDs on the list. And I have a few, like, audio CDs of, like, they're kind of like 411 Traveler's Information stuff. But except they're, like, local ones for, like, my county I live in. And there's one for like a local like tourist place I believe, but like audio CDs like describing like the climate and stuff like that. It's kind of like four on one and travelers and information. You get, if you go if you listen like five thirty a.m. tells so you like the traffic conditions. If there's like accents or something near you, if there's like accents or something near you, in the area, there's like flashing lights and it tells you like two on five thirty a.m. Otherwise, 5.30 a.m. will just be like Traveler's Information Station. If there's like no accents or nothing in there. I'll tell you like the accents and it'll be like the Traveler's Information Station. That's pretty much what that is. Like those C's are like Traveler's Information, like IOCs. For like, what they're like local like type C's. This is narrated by like a local radio station person. One is and probably one narrated by some local person. So, yeah. Mm. Might, I'm going to list them too. I should be at 256 listings if nothing sells. 10 that's all listed. So, I'll be doing that. And, yeah. And then I'm going to be picking up some stuff from another watch on Tuesday for resale. I'm going to be picking stuff up Tuesday if, if I can. If not, I'm going, if, I'm hopefully, to, hopefully I win stuff on Tuesday, um, because if I do, I'm going to be close to probably a 300 item mark on eBay, which is just a lot of items, 300 items, 300, whew, that's a lot of items, but I'm going to do it, you know, I'm going to be doing it on the 300 item store, you know, because, you know, Cause there's gonna be people quitting over them. People who are quitting eBay a lot. I know, um, especially when um, you know, from sellers moving from pay PayPal or to manage payments. They're like, I don't want to give eBay my t my social security number. eBay should eBay doesn't deserve to get my social security number. eBay doesn't deserve to get my social security number. But you know what? People are complaining about that. And I'm like, yeah, or your tax number or. Your Tax ID number, 
or even even if you you just sell it by yourself, you just have you have to give even your social security number, or you have to give you like your tax ID number, or some sort sort of number. If you're like a business tax ID number, or your social security number. If you're an individual, so, but people don't want to get their social security numbers. Right. I'm like, why? Why does it matter? Because people if if people want to get and then people are like, um, I'm quitting when um when I'm forced to switch over. And then some people were like, I'm going to not list, you can't list nothing on eBay, after a certain, if you, even if you don't switch over, like if you're forced to switch over, and you can't list nothing, nothing, and then after a certain date, like within the future, you're not going to be able to sell anything, all your listings will be removed, so people are just not going to list, and they'll just wait till their items are on, to completely move, and they'll sell it until they can sell. And then if they can't sell them or just them, except some platform all together, which I think is not a good idea, because, but it benefits sellers like, it benefits the sellers that stay on the platform, and um, give eBay like their social security number, because basically they need a social security number, bank account number, so they can send payments um through the banks because, PayPal is not no no longer doing um. Because PayPal and eBay are no longer merging together, and a lot of, like Mercari does um, bank payments. You know, you need your bank account number to um. They don't. You don't need your social security number. You just need um bank bank account information to send on um, the payments to um send the stuff to. You just need um your bank account. A routing number in your bank account number. The same with PayPal. You need your bank account in your routing number. Bank account number in your routing number. Your check account. And you can send stuff to there. And I send stuff to eBay. Do daily payments to eBay. All, all day. And I don't mind doing it. I don't mind it because. You know why? Because I'll take a few less sellers on eBay. And especially with this new $600 tax thing. And you may come up where you can only have to, you have to pay taxes. Before it was with PayPal, you had to um do twenty thousand dollars, and you had to sell two hundred items in one year. You had to sell you had to let you had to sell two hundred items or more a year in one year, and you had to sell over twenty thousand dollars worth, which a lot of sellers. Maybe some sellers were in the two hundred. Well, some sellers might have been hitting the two hundred mark. They weren't hitting the twenty thousand dollar mark, so they weren't really. Don't worry. And then um, when managed payments came over, you know, they act as like two separate um accounts. So if you sold so you could sell nineteen thousand there and eighty nine on same managed payments, and then sell the rest of them PayPal for a year, and you could sell over twenty thousand dollars say, a year in that same in that year you switched over, you wouldn't get to, you wouldn't have to pay taxes on it. Now you have to pay taxes on over six hundred dollars. eBay will report for you. eBay will send you a form. So you, there's no way in dodging um this. There's, I mean, yeah, you, you don't have to pay taxes, but when eBay reports it for you, there's like no way in dodging it. So I'll gladly pay the tax because I'll take because it's less sellers on the platform. And the less sellers you have on the platform. You know, if people quit over stuff, you know, the more chances I have to make sales. And also, I'll make, I'll gladly make, take, like, make, make, say, say a thousand, say, like, um, I lose out on, say, two, say, two thousand dollars worth of sales because that buyer buys it from somewhere else. Well, guess what? I'll gladly make that extra, I'll gladly, instead of buying it, they can't buy it from their competition. They buy it for me instead. I'll gladly have them buy it for me and make some more money because just make just tax them. Just makes me want to sell more, you know. Because if I'm already paying taxes, you know. If if you want to just sell, say twenty thousand dollars, say you sell nineteen thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents a year, but that includes the cost of shipping. So if you charge the buyer for shipping, that includes that shipping, and if you do free shipping. Well, then you're selling eight thousand nine hundred ninety nine base price for shipping, and then it's base price for shipping, and then um, if you charge for shipping, 
which is only 18,000 million dollars in aid since with the cause with the buyer pays shipping calculated. But that's just a barrier because some people will not sell that much more. But me, I'm okay with that because I'll sell like 20, 10, 20 thousand dollars a year. I'll gladly sell like instead of say selling like instead of say selling just trying to sell five hundred eighty dollars and eighty cents a year. And then I'll sell um or try to sell twenty thousand. If I had to pay taxes on um on if when I sold before I if I got over twenty thousand dollars in sales and I had to pay taxes, I wouldn't care because you know why? Because that's a sign of you selling. It's a sign of you making them. Um, the more you have, the more fees you have to pay to eBay, the more you have to pay in fees to eBay, the more um I don't like the actual managed payments fees are lower than PayPal's like um fees. And PayPal's processing fees are actually higher than the managed payments processing fees. And then you have to pay an eBay fee. You have to pay an eBay fee. And then you have to pay a... But the processing fee part alone is actually lower than PayPal. So that's a benefit for you as some um, seller and sellers. And that's why eBay did that because they know that if they know that um, they, in order for people to switch over, some people to switch over, they're going to have to um, um, undercut PayPal. And they did. And I'll gladly. And they know that. That they undercut a little bit of PayPal. No. Um, have people but make people stay on there even if the even if they weren't forced to some people yeah if they weren't forced to they could pick between PayPal and managed payments some people would stay with PayPal even though it's higher fees because they want their money like ASAP but I would take the money later if you don't need the money later because you have to pay less fees and if I have to pay say fifty if I have to pay ten thousand dollars in fees to eBay fear you know what you're making like a hundred say. 80, say you're making 80, you're maybe making $80,000 a year profit. It's $80,000 a year. But if you pay, say, if you make, say, 95000 say you sell 95000 on eBay, or say you sell 100000 on eBay, and you have to pay, say, 15000 of that goes to eBay, and then you make and the other 85000 Goes towards back towards you for, and then and then your cost of goods. You have to take out your cost of goods. You have to take out how much you paid for shipping. So, but even so, even if you net say fit fifty thousand, say after a cost of good, say in shipping. I don't know how much shipping. It depends on what you, what you sell and how much you sell it for. You know how much you got to ship and stuff. But still, you know that's. Another pay the more you pay in fees to eBay, the more you're actually making profit wise. Um, and I don't mean like you want to pay, you want the fees to increase. I'm talking about like the current rate, the current fee rate. Um, if, if the more you pay to eBay, the more you're selling. So if you say pay fifty thousand fees to eBay, it should mean your gross sales should be over five hundred thousand. Or not five hundred thousand, maybe four hundred fifty thousand. They should be at least probably four hundred fifty thousand. So I mean, the more you make P and P C B, the more you sell, the more you sell, you know, the more money you make, and the more feedback you get. So it's a win-win. So, so yeah, so. Which I don't mind selling eBay. I don't mind that. Um, and some people are like just selling one niche, just selling one niche on eBay. And some people just sell clothing on eBay, or just sell clothing, or just sell one category. I'm like, don't let, let me just sell one category. Like, I'll sell anything. You know why? Because I'm more more items I can source. There's more I up more items, especially when I live in a small town. Um. Like, and I don't have, there's not a ton of garage sales. And they have a lot of auction sales. There's not, ton, there's not like a ton of auction, like daily auction. There's not a ton of auction. So I'll gladly pick up stuff, um, stuff, you know, anything and everything. Because if I just limit myself to, say, searching on my thrift store, the register for clothes, 
guess what? Nathan's turn by sale. Luther's turn in my garage in the, in the summertime. Springtime in the summertime. And even some in the fall time for, grad, for, um, even for clothing. Say, so guess what? You know? You're limiting yourself. You're hurt, you know? No. Not getting the full arrangement of what I can sell, you know, like. So, yeah. And then this is. Someone sent me messages. I think you really great me. This is for their love to me. Look what this Cookbook, pamphlets, recipe, Pillsbury favorite recipe, miscellaneous, it's over eight. It's over 10 plus shipping. That was, um, as well. And this is the feel like the birds, East Rockies, but Roger Peterson, 19. It says, the bird was in very good condition. I didn't expect it to ship this fast, even early. I buy you from the seller again. Thank you. I arrived in original condition. That was for a. Coors Beer Smog thing. Seems the heart by George Cole, 18 cent. That's from my Ocho House, about 20 miles away. Not 20 miles away, I'd say about like 20, 20 or 30 miles away at least, so. This is, this is from the seller that, um, sent me, um, that bought those other um, books, those other pamphlet books for me, and just recently, and before Christmas time. They bought some just like a few days like on Saturday, so I, I was glad to them. So there might they might buy more for me. So if they end up buying more for me, that'd be awesome, you know. This is the last sixteen recipe booklets, cookbook pamphlets, here recipes, those are miscellaneous. They sold for six fifty plus shipping, typically for shipping. And they list for eight free and plus shipping on sale. You know, and like they bought something before. Like really they, and this is laptop, hardcover, it's paper, hardcover paperback, and spare one. These are cookbooks. These sold for six plus shipping, and this is for nine ninety nine plus shipping. And then they offer fifty percent off, and it sold for eight forty nine. It sold for six. And I'll gladly sell for six because I want to, because these are hard sells to sell. And then acceptable, like I said, because they're varying conditions in the books. I said, except the car myself. It's all gladly sold off because, you know, I want to sell these. And I want to sell these, like, um, I mean, they're all like cookies or type of cookbooks, but still, you know, these various ones are hard, kind of hard, a little hard to sell. And that was from a book that I picked up for. You know, so. And then this is the last six. So, these are cookies, cakes, holiday. And some, these are cookbooks. They're just real cookbook. Thank you very good. But the person, I didn't say these are, they were all, these are just like appetizers type snacks type books. But the person, what they were getting in. They were mad. I think I did tell you a little odd. But they didn't, they, they knew what they were getting anyways. And the screams and passion. And thank you. And they might buy more for me. I do have like assorted um, a few assorted big lots they they might buy. Um, we have food and drink. I have food and wine. A lot of three food and wine. And then I have a lot of six cookbooks. There are various ones. Like Alter Brown. I don't know if it's like a cookbook cookbook per se, but you know I have Alter Brown. It is kind of food never book, and I have a couple other books. And I have some other couple books, not a lot. And I have food and wine, and I have a few individual, and I have another, some room to garden slots. A couple of them. So they might buy them. I have other lots, stuff, other, you never know, so. If they buy, if the person buys more for me, I'll gladly take it. I'll, you know, if they want a bundle for me. And I know they're a repeat buyer, recent repeat buyer. I'll gladly take their um, off. I'll gladly take their offer. You know? I'll, I'll gladly take this offer from this person for more. 
stuff, you know. If they want to buy from me again. Because I have 28, I, um, 28 followers on eBay, so. You know, and plus, eBay finds the buyers for you. It's your job to, um, it's your job to, eBay will find the buyers for you. It's just your job to, you know, put a fair price, put a fair price, and if you charge for shipping on that time, do a fair, um, fair price for shipping. Don't over so don't overdo it. Like, like I don't like I mean like don't overdo it. I mean like if some people charge like the retail rate, like what the um what eBay would charge when eBay is shipping quickly on Mackey Quick Goods, which is retail rate, and you get the discount rate, but your buyer gets the retail rate, which is what I do. But some do um where they charge pass on the discount to the buyers. What I mean I don't what I mean is like I don't offer like I just charge whatever. Ebay's shipping cook their the retail rate charges. Ebay because I wanna because I wanna at least break even on shipping after the fees and my cost of my pack and supplies cost. All that factor in I wanna at least break even on shipping. Shipping. You know? Because the email packages I'm not making nothing on. I'm actually losing money on after fees because I'm not charging handling fee. Or jack on, um, say, two pounds, it's really only one pound, you know, or something like that. Not really jacking up. Oh, and I know. Oh, we started chipping on them. On them, party mails, like, EPS grounds, like, um, first classes, offset that, you know, a little bit, so. So, yeah. So, yeah, so, till next time. Take care, man. I'm gonna go get some sleep because this video is really long winded. I'm gonna get some sleep and then I'm going to get up in the morning, do some listing on eBay. And yeah, I may have to um, help out on my little, um, help out this one tomorrow. I might have to help out tomorrow. Do a little bit of that. I might, so I don't know how long I'm gonna, I don't know how much I'm gonna list depending on what, when I have to do it. Stuff like that, and how long it takes. But I'm gonna try to do some listing in the morning. So I'm gonna try to do some listing in the morning, and then do um. And how about if I can? But yeah. So it's so time. Take care.